Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review this time from Olight. Now this here is their Baton 3 Pro Max. Now I was sent this directly by Olight. They are having a special event coming up here and they wanted me to feature this on my channel. They asked me what color and of course my favorite color is green. Now I am a little bit under the weather, but uh, still I'm able to do reviews. So let's wait no further. Let's open this up, see what's in. Want to make sure that I get the red tape there. Don't always have the best luck opening up these boxes. Now this is their latest model, comes with a lot of other accessories, I call them goodies. Now this here is some type of uh, mount here, I can see the double sided tape, not too sure if I'll use that. One USB charging cable, this is magnetic. Now my understanding is they've done some technology upgrades on these and they're I think 800 milliamp that they charge at which is pretty good especially for a single cell flashlight. Get one felt bag here pretty nice. I've seen these before previous reviews very nice quality. And we get one user manual. Pretty well detailed, very small though. Now this light does feature their close proximity sensor. And my personal use with them, I've had a kind of a hit and miss. Here's another. Now this one here has a little more detailed as far as graphs. Pretty nice. They include that message there. This is a reminder that there is a protection piece on the battery. Now before I forget let me show you the specs here. Now you can see there it puts out 2500 lumens on the highest light output. Now if you need more time to read those go ahead and pause screen. Otherwise let's go ahead and grab the light here. It is compact. I do have large hands, so uh, this will definitely hide away easily. Love this uh, knurling here on the side. Very aggressive. Definitely going to help you with holding the light and not dropping it, even in wet weather. Side switch there. This clip you can remove it. It is a two-way clip for deep pocket carry. Now here's the charging port and it always finds the sweet spot. And it is strong enough so if you do have it on the counter or something and you just want it to, to hang from it, it is strong enough to do that. Also, if you have it on the side of a table, it's not going to roll off real easy. You just put it up there and just leave it there. It's not going to go anywhere if you have this in the uh, USB port. It's always nice to get these new lights. Now 
Now the style and design on this is very nice. This particular baton series has been out for many years. And the nice thing about this is also magnetic on the tail cap. Also the charging ports there. Now because of this battery is in it, uh, this magnet does have more than enough strength to uh, hold the light. It's not going to go anywhere. Very nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at Special Optics. Now I've gone back and forth with Olight via email to try to find out what LED is in here. And uh, it's unknown. So I'm going to assume that it's probably a proprietary Chinese LED. Um, so I'm not sure why Olight is not telling people what they are putting in their lights. But in any case, that's what that looks like. So now let's go ahead and uh, take this apart and I'll show you the battery that it comes with. Protection piece there on the battery. There's the head of the light there. Got a little bit of a spring there straight contact plate there. This does take the proprietary cell. Check some piece there. You want to remove that. Because of the magnet it kind of sticks up in there. Now this is a 21700 cell. 5000 milliamp. This is a 20 amp cell but uh, protection piece I believe is 15 amp so it should provide plenty of power for this light can't really see too much else down in there now let's go ahead and uh, get this light all back together well greased threads here on the on the light which is nice Now the clip is what's scraping along there, that's why I try to hold it a little bit. Not a big fan of scratching up the light trying to get it on there, but as you can see the battery there is a little on the low side. So I just took it out of the box, but I'll charge it before we take it out there to the night shots. So now let's go over the UI. UI is pretty straightforward. I'm going to turn that on comes on at that level. Now from off to get the lowest light output, press down and hold, you achieve that hidden moonlight level. And from there you can press down and hold to go through those light outputs once the light is on and back down. When you first turn on the light, it comes on at that level. Press down and hold, or you can do it individually. Now if you do want turbo, double click, get you that turbo there. Now my previous experience, they last for about a minute. So turbo is definitely something you want to use for a short burst. Uh, the 800 lumens. Um, on the previous model did really well once it cycled down from turbo it stayed at the 800 lumens and for the duration of the battery now if you do want to get the special mode you're going to triple click the side switch one two three get you strobe
press down and hold goes back to the last light output that she had on. This does have memory mode. Put it on that level. So it's always nice to be able to have that. Let's take a look here at the beam. See there, it does have a little bit of a centralized area here, as you can see. That's pretty nice. That's my opinion it's probably going to be more flood the further back you get. Now this here is uh, more of a cool white, probably 6000 Kelvin, which is good. It's going to give you the brightest light that you can get. The warmer you get, the less light output that you have as far as lumens are concerned. I have the perfect balance in my opinion is 5000 Kelvin um, just about on any light except your dedicated throwers uh, the cool white is the best but that 5k even on my personal vehicles uh, changed all the HID bulbs to 5000 K and it's just like incredible difference again really easy to operate this light now this does have the proximity sensor right around the edge of this light. Um, it's kind of, you know, if it gets closer, say like you have it in your pocket, it'll dial the light down. Um, hopefully I can get it to, to do it now. should be already on. But uh, yeah, so it does work. So the proximity sensor is definitely nice. So if you do have it in your bag it accidentally does come on you had it on the highest output it's going to go down probably within uh, that's about three inches so and it keeps that the light from getting too hot now it is getting a little warm lukewarm but it's not getting hot enough to start melting anything as if it was this far away at this bright it would definitely start creating some issues there so that's all there is with that um, it's pretty straightforward on that alright well that's all there is to the UI it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna get this charged up and uh, let's go ahead and take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Olight Baton 3 Pro Max. It was raining out here earlier. Uh, storms have been hitting us really hard here in California. So we're going to go ahead and press down and hold. It is on. Lowest light output here we got. Easily see 10 feet. At 10 feet, unfortunately, the wood is all dark, but uh, definitely can see, faintly see that fence here. We're going to go to the next level here. See a little bit better. This one here is cool white, so you're not going to see too much color differences. But you can see that fence there is about 15 feet. So if we make the water spout, uh, very faint on that water spout there. We'll bump it up here. And that water spout there is 38 feet from where I'm standing. Kind of pan it around over here give you an idea finally got a chance to get out here whole family was sick so that was uh, two weeks of miserable there it is on the fence there more of a flood beam See, it does have a little bit of centralized hotspot there let's go up to the next level here 
You can see a large area at once, 65 feet there to that tree, 38 feet there to the water spout, and it is making the tree of life there as you can see. Just a large area at once. So now we're going to go ahead and do turbo. Turbo, you can really see that tree better now. Definitely can see all around you. Going to get about a minute, a little over. Now it's cold out here, so might get a little bit longer, but uh, it'll drop down to 800 lumens, which is quite a bit of light. Do a beam profile here before it steps down. Really nice wide beam. Still got good battery power not going to have a whole lot of range on this but it's starting to cycle down a little bit now now I'm feeling the head of the light it's pretty toasty so you can see there it's stepped down it'll step down a little bit more and it'll be right at 800 lumens which is plenty of light for most applications Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. This thing did very well out there. The 2500 lumens kind of playing around with it out there was lasting just barely over a minute. So about a minute and three seconds. And it cycled down. 800 lumens out of this thing is a lot of light. Uh, more than enough for most applications. So that's my opinion. Um, you know, other people have a little bit higher standards as far as lumen output, but 800 lumens is a lot of light. This beam does have a very nice wide area coverage, that is, so it's more of a flood type of beam. It does have a little bit of area there in the center that's intensified just a little bit. Um, kind of wished I knew what this LED was. But uh, again, I'm pretty sure that this is a proprietary LED of theirs that they are introducing. A lot of companies are doing it, so that's why I'm saying it. Um, again, um, I do like the feature here that it does have a little bit of a, a beacon there on the power switch, which is pretty nice. So if the power does go out and it's pitch black, you can kind of just set this up and it's going to blink every once in a while for you which is nice now the build quality on these are very nice some of the best that you can get now the only con that I see is basically the proprietary battery um, only thing I say that is because if you can't get it you're stuck with this battery but three to five years of normal use but if you're able to buy the batteries Get a couple of extra, especially if you're going on extra trips, and you can always use this pouch to store the batteries in or find a hard case. You don't have to get an extra long one because of the protection piece makes the battery longer, but in any case you can find something to put those extra batteries in, easily swap it out and charge them at a later point. The green color is absolutely flawless. No issues, no blemishes. Looks great. I'm biased, my favorite color. So if I can get them in green, that's what I like. This here is more of a darker green and uh, looks very nice. Again, proximity sensor, something if you do leave it in a bag, it'll dial down the light output. Uh, before I forget, this type of light does not have a manual unlock. So if you keep turning the barrel, it will still keep coming on. So in order to lock this light out, press down and hold. 
until the light goes out. Now when you try to turn it on, it'll be red and it won't do anything else. To get out of that, press down and hold again. And now your light's back on and ready for business. Just before I forget on that lockout feature. Well, I want to thank Olight for sending me this Baton 3 Pro Max. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, they are having a special sales event. I will leave a link to that event down below. Huge savings on these lights. Coming up here, all you have to do is click the link. There will be some additional savings and discount codes there at their website to help save some money on this flashlight kit. Just in case you're interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights from Olight to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.